about the project spot, this is her pee. Now there's a very pretty parish in Jamaica, some might argue the prettiest of them all. That parish is Portland, but there are some ugly realities surrounding Portland. And realize that people are going like them no want not just the people no want to talk about it. Right? And we are going to it. Christ of Portland is a spooky parish. Yes, it's world famous for its natural beauty. But on the surface, even though it appears Portland is like some kind of paradise, in reality, it's far from it. Especially when you're talking about the average Portland citizen. Right? I guess you we Portland people them call them a Portlander. Right. We got Portland and news. Right. So, I'm going to tell you now what I mean by the ugly realities right, surrounding Portland. But before we go any further, the last video I drop, you hear me do a Patreon birthday shout out to Princess Walker. Now, get to understand, say, it was actually Princess that requested for her husband, Kirk. So, Kirk, big up yourself, see, more life. Alright, Portland. I'm going to share some stats with you now. I'm going to show some data with you know. I'm going to share some I'm not talking because you know I'm telling you say, I don't want to you know, go too much into the feelings thing because I want thing for me telling you say, you know, this and that and but I'm just a little YouTuber trying to bad mind some scammers and get some views so I'm going to show you the actual numbers so we can you know just make it soak in on the head I understand what I want in a real life I want to look on your screen Till now the time, say, the idea that people have that, you know, quote unquote, in the inner city, the garrison, that's like these are the only places in Jamaica where there's like poverty, and then that's why South St. Andrews so bad, that's why West Kingston so bad, because the. No, I've debunked this many times before. But may I also tell them, say, rural Jamaica see some serious poverty. Rural Jamaica, not only experience serious poverty many cases extreme poverty but people don't even acknowledge it see at least trench town and jungle and rima and tifa these places are at this point well known all across the world even people who never been to jamaica know about jungle know about trench town but there are some places in jamaica who are suffer far right, worse than trench town and west kingston or anywhere in a town for that matter and about don't even acknowledge it no, this is not the struggle Olympics. It's not a struggling is not a virtue. Right? So it's not like a um, me I struggle more than you. That's not the point. But just one thing to The concept you have in your mind that I just you know reman jungle this or the poverty there. And that's why our rural Jamaicans I see some things and experience some things when a bad not talk about Portland is one of them places. There. I want to put this in on the mind. Make this soak in on the brain. Portland is consistently the parish with the lowest right, murders in the country. You need that in your head for one time you are listening to this video. Now look on your screen. As you can see, and this is coming from this is official data report from them across the country. Now as you can see, they're showing which part you know, people living behind are below the poverty line. As you can see, KMA, Kingston Metropolitan Area. Right? That's common sense, you should know that where that is. Other towns, that is, you know, every parish has the town. You know, you have the town part of every parish. And then you have rural. As you can see, poverty is far worse in rural Jamaica right, than the KMA and other towns. That's not even up for the bill. Far worse. Right? And this won't even be news to nobody. You have to talk about some place where even to this day, you have places in Jamaica that don't have much access to light and water. These places are forgotten. The reason why you don't really know about these places? One of the big reasons is that most people's perception, especially in Jamaica, perception about certain places, about certain things, is shaped by entertainment. If you notice, your favorite entertainer don't big up poor people who don't kill themselves in record numbers. Have you ever noticed that? Have you ever noticed that your favorite entertainer don't big up place like Prospect in a Portland? You want to say poverty? Go and place named Prospect in a Portland. 
your favorite entertainer only big up the place them were poor and kill each other. Big up man from jungle, big up man from Rima, big up man from Southside, big up man from Spanish Town. And big up poor black people who kill poor black people. They don't big up prospect. They don't big up certain places in Achilani. They don't big up certain places in Hanover. Right? So when they hear me say agents of chaos, I'm not saying I'm not talking about them big up tap a tap dodos tap a tap zeeks yeah anyway i want to look on your screen right now i'm going to show you rural jamaica right. so we know say are they so are the highest percentage of people living below the national poverty line now people might argue that well it will for example portland small than the kingston and st andrew portland is small than st andrew but the numbers, the population between Portland and Kingston, not Kingston and St. Andrew, but Kingston, they're not actually that far off, I'm gonna show them. But look on the screen right here. So. Just so you understand, Wagwan na Portland. Pretty pretty Portland. Pretty, Portland with the with, with, with the water them look like not even sure you see them water there. Portland has some water where it, it look like if you jump in it, you gotta just come out. Covered in a gold dust, do it look pretty? Look on your screen. The data revealed that in 2017, so we're not talking about 200 years ago, there were 474 registered poor persons per 100,000. So they might do it per capita. So 474 per 100,000. Just like how they measure murder rate per 100,000, they might show you registered poor right, per 100,000. Okay, you know, Jamaica have various schemes and people register to get this and to get that. The parishes of Portland and Hanover are the highest per capita registered poor while Manchester had the lowest. I'll repeat this. Just in case in a year. Okay, you might have cooked your food on the pot, drop on the go and go bling 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 in a year. Let me repeat it. The parishes of Portland and Hanover had the highest per capita registered poor, while Manchester had the lowest. I hope you understand by now. now. So we are talking about a parish. But even though on the surface, when you drive through, it looks so good. The bad thing say your favorite Portland citizen is rich. You might have that impression because when you stick to the main roads in Portland, you might drive past a look water line and see. In the Trident Hotel look fancy. Maybe you see a couple of the yachts on the, on the water. Maybe you might pop, drive, go over San Stucci side. Right? You might see 10 Range Rovers parked beside 10 G Wagons parked beside 10 Porsche. You might see that on a casual weekend in Portland. You might see it. So you drive past them thing there on the surface and things say Portland right? is this nice, big, rich place falls. That's on the surface. Portland has a tiny right, minority of citizens who have a whole heap of money. But the vast majority of Portland citizens are poor. Portland is a poor parish. One of the poorest parishes in Jamaica. One of the poorest right, and most forgotten parishes in Jamaica when it comes down to investment. Port Antonio. I mean, we got Port Antonio, but certain parts of Port Antonio. You have to shake your head. When you come off of the main road and start for going a little, you know, the little, as, as them say, off the beaten track or something like so, at them time, you don't see the real face of Portland. And it's uglier than you'd ever imagine. So, you yeah, think they say, but if Portland are the highest per capita registered poor people in Jamaica, we are over. How comes a year time at 10, 15 people that are Portland? Remember your favorite scholar today say Poverty is the root cause of murder rate. I've debunked it many times. Showing you the country them far worse poverty than Jamaica. But forget about foreign countries. Here we have a parish inside of Jamaica that truly is poor. One of the poorest, right? The most poor per capita of the lowest murder rate. The people of Portland, despite the economic challenges, Despite the fact that there's hardly any investment in Portland, despite the fact that, unlike, you know, Kingston and Mother Wallop have big market, they might have, for example, you know, the business centers, Portland have nothing like that. 
Portland as the main, the parish with the lowest where everything to me. Go and check how much people lose their life in Portland this year for yourself. Fascinating, isn't it? This poor parish, early investments, murder the extremely low. I'm telling you what drive Jamaica's murder here. Culture and mindset. It's the Portland have a different culture. The culture in Portland is simply different from Kingston. It's different from Spanish Town. It almost feels like it's a whole different country. Them do everything different. Look on life different. Portland is one of the few places in Jamaica that still feel like traditional Jamaica. When you hear old time people talk about traditional Jamaica, right, where most of the parishes them used to be like, most of them gone now, except Portland. It has remained traditional. So despite the economic challenges, it still maintains a low murder rate, even though I guess enough of the gun might come true, but don't worry, we'll get into that soon. Here's another ugly fact about Portland, where nobody no want to talk about, and I understand why, right, because it's not. You know, nobody no really, people don't like to acknowledge, you know, things that are uncomfortable. But we're going to talk about it, because if you don't talk about uncomfortable things, they never get looked at, right, under the microscope. Did you know, in Jamaica, the most peaceful parish, the parish with the least murder is the parish with the highest amount of people take them life. Look on your screen. Portland, pretty pretty Portland, have the highest rate of people taking them life. As you can see, right, with 6.5 per 100,000. 6.5. Let me read it for you. The national rate is 2.02. Right. Portland is 6.05. The parish that comes second, St. Elizabeth, 3.95. Portland, the forgotten parish of Portland. Right. The parish where people love to talk about is so beautiful and so pretty. It's leading the country. Consistently. The amount of people wanted them life. And then even broke it down yeah. by gender. Now, me know this no surprise nobody at all, but men take them life far more than women. As you can see, yeah. for males, 3.48 per 100,000. Yeah. This is the national law we are talking for Jamaica 3.48 per 100,000. Women, 0 0.58. 3.48 versus 0 0.58. But tell you all the time, it's about the business about man. In no matter what man I go through, in no matter what happened about man, you don't see any campaign to stop this against men, help men. This Nobody cares about men. Men have to fend for themselves. If this was reversed and it was women that were leading in taking them life, the world I wouldn't have to stop on her and find a solution. What go on? But it's men, so nobody cares. Portland are lead. Portland is leading. Just like all the murder stats for the year, the vast majority of Jamaicans that are murdered are men. But nobody cares. As a matter of fact, just to put it in the context, because Jamaica is 2.021, believe it or not, that's actually very good, right? Compared to the rest of the world now. Obviously, it's never good when anybody take them life. Simple Simon, I know you're watching. In just say, Jamaica's rate is good compared to the rest of the world. Look at Japan. Japan are average 24, 25, 16, 18. Japan. Prosperous, safe, Japan. Matter of fact, Japan is so spooky. Japan's take your own life rate is worse than the murder rate. Because you know, again, this is another thing where people go. Remember, you know, in Jamaica, the reason why I don't take many of your favorite quote unquote scholars seriously is because their, their thinking can only go as far as money. Everything is money. When they ask Jamaicans about any issue, the answer is tied to money. But because people know the money, if you ask somebody why people are taking them life, why people are doing this, because of money, then how do you explain Japan? You think Japan, how can Japan take life? Take your own life rate be so much worse than Jamaica. Jamaica is 
that's our average right across the board, right? They might have a 24%. Let me show you the next rich country. This is Austria. Now look on the screen. Austria, right? We see like 14%. Remember, Jamaica is 2.02. But again, brought down between man and woman, female 6.70, males 22.80. So all over the world, man take them more life than women. But whether it's Austria, whether it's, Austria, whether it's Japan, whether it's Jamaica. Nobody cares about me. Right. Now, earlier I mentioned the facts. It's spooky that Portland, even though I didn't know if I didn't to come true, remains a low murder rate parish. That shows you how the culture in Portland is different. Even though they can get these guns, even though enough Portland men help Goffy gun, them they use them and wipe out each other. Like in a South St. Andrew, like in a West Kingston, right? like in a Moby, like in a St. Catherine North, St. Catherine South. When you see your culture, murder is far more complex than all. You use them now, the money and now the work is rubbish. Portland, that turned upside down. There's almost 80,000, there's over 80,000 people in Portland. If 1% of them say they're going to start killing people, they do not expand that. Look on your screen. This is from Portland News. Police seize 2.2 million water herbs. Every minute you hear police find 5 million water herbs. 3 million water herbs. You know why I keep here in Portland and so much herbs I get fined? Because of the guns for herbs trade. Portland is one of the main places. Then. Man set off from Portland, got 80, go bring back this and bring back that. Somebody actually missed me earlier. Two people actually. One of them messaged me saying, Look at the message therapy and allowed. The next one messaged me almost bragging. It's fascinating to me that in 2022, people don't understand how a barter system works. If somebody take 1500 or in this case 315 pounds of herbs, go give it to a man of Haiti and get 100 rifles. Not because they didn't take cold hard cash in a mean say. Those hundred rifles were free or were cheap. 2.2 million dollar worth of herbs is exactly the same as 2.2 million dollar cash. I cannot believe I have to be explaining barter to fully grown adults. Oh yes, sir. if man can give man 300 pound of herbs and get guns, that means say guns them cheap. People, please. Make, make reasoning and critical thinking cool again. Right. Portland, the man them care millions of dollars worth of herbs, go get the Haitian man and get millions of dollars worth of guns in return. It's a barter system. Haitians are not stupid. They're not taking something when they have no value. So the same 2.2 .2 million worth of herbs we left Jamaica, man care go eat, you go do the man with that, sell it back or whatever. It's a barter system. So when you say 5 million water herbs, Ghana 80 is the same as having one bag with 5 million water, water of cash. The exact same. They're bartering. Portland is one of the main places in this time. Enough of the guns in go across Jamaica, land of Portland, for they go anywhere else. And despite the fact that Portland is so poor, Despite the fact that there are so little opportunities right, for the youths, Portland remains a parish right, where have a very, very low murder rate. Right. The gun in my past through Portland. Look on your screen again. We got Portland and news. This is why the telling us the laws need to change. Look at this story. I'll read it for you. A Portland fisherman has been fined just over three million dollars and sentenced to ten months and two weeks in prison following his appearance in the Portland Parish Court on Friday. Thirty-eight-year-old Ryan Thompson of Manchineal District in Portland was sentenced to pay a fine of fifteen thousand right, dollars or three months hard labor for possession right, of herbs 
right, and a fine of $3 million or six months for taking steps right, preparatory to export herbs. Let me say that again. Think about that. I'm telling you about deterrent, right? What kind of deterrent do you think it is when a man knows say, If he can get catch, worst case, him do on 10 months. 10 months. This treatment and level of herbs, right, are the herbs that this man did not carry. He could have bring in back one fifty, one hundred rifle, and those hundred rifles would have cost chaos all over Jamaica. But when time man bring in a hundred rifles, when them touch Jamaica and shore, and them can sell it back for one three hundred thousand each, one four hundred thousand each, right? and them end up in the hands of junk nation or bed bugs. When that trade is going on, the people them who actually right, got yeti, the fisherman them, because they know the waters. In a fit of mind, them know say even if me get catch 10 months in jail. You think that's a deterrent? How much people think that 10 months in jail are going to turn off somebody? We are talking about a multi billion dollar industry. Just like how when you get sentenced to 10 years, you, you, you say you can get parole in two. If you get sentenced to 10 months, you're not even going to do the full, te full 10 months anyway. So, the sister, the last them week and outdated. No one see why. If you're a fisherman, nothing twice will just jump on a boat and go there. Because we're stopping him. Now, if he was dealing with 30 years minimum. I bet they said this fisherman, Rayan Thompson, Rayan Thomas. I bet they said when he come back on the road. If the, if the new laws are coming by then, and he may say, no, we're at about 30 years. I bet they say you can't get him on a boat. I bet they say you can't make him go on a boat. Because he 30 years versus 10 months. That's a reason, you know. Portland, pretty parish. There's a lot of ugliness below the surface. Not many opportunities in Portland. Be a guns that come through Portland. And despite all of this, it remains a parish with a very low murder rate. Most of the murders in Portland are family. And, and, and relationship issues. Yeah. What do you call it? Pasha, crime of passion, things like that. Portland, Hanover, certain parts of Trelawney, we're not ready for them poverty day yet. As I said, it's not a contest. I'm not saying people from West Kingston, no, 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 no poor lady material, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying understand the reality of the fuck's sake. Some people in a rural Jamaica I go through some things that I don't even know about and hear about and nobody the business about them because you're not getting no forward If you go up on the mic and say big up big up prospect in a Portland you're not getting no forward because now we have a situation there enough people can't wait to tell you which bad man place they come from they work like a badge of honor as soon as they have a dispute they might tell you you don't know say this where something come from Just reason for a reason. You know, the Sunday morning. Yeah. You're trying to be big up on yourself. Yeah, yeah, you don't know more life. Ultra squad. Say a circle. Rest.